We begin tonight with an explosive report on a problem that could put many Colorado doctors out of business. Doctors across the state say they can't get reimbursed for patients using Medicaid. They blame a new state system for payments, making matters worse. Some doctors are afraid to come forward out of fear that the state will punish them. Karen Morfitt has been investigating this problem for us tonight. And Karen, these are doctors with small family practices. And you talked with one who didn't want their identity revealed. Yeah, Karen, these small private providers that I spoke to say they can barely pay their own bills. Some have cut their salaries. They've taken out multiple loans, even borrowed money from family just to keep the doors open. On top of that, the Colorado Hospital Association tells me tonight they believe hundreds of millions of dollars are owed to hospitals across the state as well. How much does the state owe you? Uh, approximately $300,000. After months of fighting to get Medicaid claims paid, local health care providers are speaking out. They're putting their own personal income on the line, waiting for the state to actually pay. Fearing retribution, the provider we spoke with asked to remain anonymous. They can make life incredibly difficult. Um, they can even shut down agencies. The issue started back in March when the state launched a new payment system to better track Medicaid dollars. A program Parrish Steinbecker with Colorado's Department of Health Care Policy and Financing oversees. And it's an Affordable Care Act requirement. So whether you've been a provider for two years or 20 years, you had to re-enroll and you had to revalidate. And it's different now than it was before. From day one, providers say the system was flawed and their Medicaid bills began piling up. It's incredibly difficult. The amount of time and energy that's then focused away from the actual day-to-day -day operations of the agency, you know, and the actual client care is now focused on getting billing through. The state has paid over $3 billion in claims, but acknowledges there are issues, mainly providers not enrolling properly. Sometimes there's uh, they're so busy, we know that, that the communications that we've sent out to them, they're not able to always uh, get to that. While providers say their attempts to contact the agency have gone unanswered. What's your biggest fear? I mean, to have to shut down because we're not able to pay people. Now, the state says they've made improvements to their call center. They've added additional staff and increased training. The Colorado Hospital Association said that they are scheduled to meet with the state later this week to talk about and work through some of these issues. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt, CBS 4 News.